I wanted a vector drawing for a holiday card I was making of a pumpkin, and I chose to use Vectornator, but I wanted to make the illustration look like a woodcut, but at the same time being as dimensional as I could make it look. So I modeled a 3D object to use as a reference, and I used it in a number of different ways. One thing is I gave it a Z-depth texture, and I edge detected that, and that gave me the interior contour lines that are so characteristic of pumpkins. The next thing I wanted was cross contours, which are kind of like the latter attitude lines on a globe. And the thing about those is if you look straight at them, they don't reveal how round they are. They just look like straight lines. So I took a high angle on the pumpkin looking down so that you could really appreciate the curvature of the contour lines that cross around the circumference of the pumpkin. Another thing I wanted was a sense of bounce light. So first I lit it more normally and that gave me a clear delineation between the light shape and the shadow shape. And then I added a floor to it and that gave me bounce light back into the shadow. And I wanted to try to capture a sense of that as well by using the cross contour lines to create a little bit of lift in the shadow so that it, it gave it a, a sense of a core shadow and then a little bit of a bounce light. Another thing is that when I was making this TikTok, I was really happy to see how well I could make a time lapse using the function that's already in Vectornator. I didn't have to do any kind of screen casting or keep track of the video or whether I come and go to the software when it opens or closes or whether I take a break or put it away for the night. The software is keeping track of every step that I make and it's able to export a time lapse after the fact, which is really handy. This is how it finally came out. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think?